So I'm doing this live from the Florida Pain Society uh, conference, and what I want to show you today is I want to show you a hip uh, injection using ultrasound. So this is the intraarticular hip, and a couple things before I even get to the technique and how it's done, we want to set up our ultrasound system. Now we can do the easy route and uh, just go to a preset, but I'm going to do this manually just so you can see it. I want my depth to be around 5 centimeters, 12 megahertz, and then my focal zone here, I want to bring this down to about 3 quarters of the way down the screen. So as far as setting the patient up, have the patient lay it by its back, and then expose the hip area. So what we're going to do is this technique, we're basically going to take the um, ASIS and the pubic bone, and we're going to draw an imaginary line. That's where we're going to start with this technique. So I'm going to take the transducer, and I'm going to draw that line. Every time I drop it down, what I'm going to see is, let me just describe what we're seeing here. This is a pelvis, and this is the iliopsoas tendon coming across in the short axis. If I go a little bit more medial, I'm going to see the femoral artery pulsating here. So, my starting point is here. Now, if I wanted to, this would also be the area, and um, you, you would do your iliopsoas bursal injection uh, with this view and with the transducer position like such. Now because the trope is down here, what I want to do is I want to slide my probe down a little bit and I notice, so if you focus on the screen here, what, it, what you're going to see is you're going to see the pelvic, there's a little crest here. Position this in the center of the screen where the dip is and then you drop it down. The femoral head will always come into view here. Now take a look at the position of the probe. And I know the troke is over here, and I want to um, see the length of the, the femur, okay? So all I'm going to do is I'm going to find my femoral head, and then I'm going to rotate to where, to the length of the femur, the long axis. So I have the femoral head in my screen here, and I'm just going to rotate on that. And as I rotate, can you see the ultrasound image? Yes. As I rotate, you're going to see it elongate. Now I'm going to point out a couple structures to you. This is the acetabulum, this is the femoral head, and this is the ligament coming over top of it. Now, because the injection wants to go between the, the neck and the head, we need to scan down. So let me go back and find this. So our target right here is, I see the head and I see the neck. So here's the head of the femur going into the neck. Now I see that ligament coming down here and the space between the bone and the ligament, this is your capsule. That is your target area. So you've got a lot of flexibility of where you actually drop the needle. Your needle can go anywhere in this area and it will flow intraarticular. If you had contrast and then snap the picture with a fluoroscopy, you would see it flow into the joint. So the next step would be, once we get this image, Then what you want to do is you need to think about, okay, how am I going to uh, inject? So your needle would go in line with the probe here, and you would come straight in, like this. Thank you. So your needle would come in just like this, and what we'll see on our image is, you see where I'm pressing down where the needle would go in? And you can see in the upper right hand corner the, the tissue moving. So your needle will come down like this, right where you want it. Once you get it in place, you go ahead and inject, and you'll see the fluid disperse and fill up the capsule. That's the intraarticular hip injection.